Hey y'all, welcome to Osatium's channel. My name is Crystal. I am a yoga instructor here based in Atlanta. Um, Ashtanga trained, Hatha certified. And today we are going to be focusing on a particular pranayama called Kapalbhati. That's the Sanskrit, um, also known as shining skull breath. If you have been interested in or focusing on the solar plexus chakra program, then this is the breath that is mentioned in that second or third um, writing. So first I'm just going to go ahead and explain what we're doing and then we'll go through a few rounds um, slowly and we'll start to eventually speed the breaths up so you can get a full idea of like, what the practice is going to look like for you based on where you are. So this is the shining skull breath and you're just gonna go ahead and find a comfortable position. It can be indoors or wherever. If you can get some sun, that would be great since that is what we're working on today. But wherever you are comfortable works, if you need to sit up onto a chair, that works too. So we're just gonna go ahead and find your comfortable space. Make sure the spine is long and go ahead and relax the shoulders. And just try to relax the whole body. You wanna make sure that the spine again is stacked so that you can get as much air as possible to the lungs. So first, we're just gonna focus on our breath for a few breaths. Begin to settle our bodies before we begin. Your breath right now can be whatever comes natural to you as long as it is intentional breath. do um, Kapalabhati breathing, it's also known as rapid fire breathing or breath of fire. Um, we want to start out with about three rounds of 20 breaths each. You can work your way up to 30 or 45 breaths. Uh, today I will be doing 20 breaths each for each round. As we progress further, we will be doing faster rounds, but if you are just beginning, then you wanna stay with the slower rounds and just work your way up as you make time and as your body gets used to the practice. So, again, we are gonna focus on our breathing. We're just gonna breathe normally. Now what we're gonna do is take a deep inhale through the belly and we're gonna exhale in short bursts through the nose. So that's what it's gonna sound like, that's what it's gonna feel like. So think about if you're in a public place and you need to sneeze and you're holding in your sneeze and think about what the belly does. Just kinda emulate it real quickly and think about what the belly does. Right? So that's what it's gonna feel like in your belly when you do this breath, but you are gonna be breathing through the nose. Now our inhales are going to be passive. You don't want to passively inhale, you want your body to do that work for you. So as you exhale, after every exhale, your body's gonna passively inhale, you're actively exhaling and your body will do the rest. So don't worry about losing breath. As long as you are doing it slow enough for you, then you will be good. So. We're gonna go ahead and do our first round. So take a deep inhale and exhale. <laughs> Inhale. 
And that was 20. We're going to inhale and deep exhale. And just return to your normal breathing. Again, deep inhale, exhale. And we're gonna deep inhale this time, a little faster. And inhale, and exhale. I'm going to turn to the side this time so you can actually see what my belly is doing. We're breathing normally again, just giving our body time to adjust and time to rest. And this is gonna be our fastest one. I'm using the hands to show you what breath we're on, but you can count them in your head if that works for you. Or if you have a mala with 20 beads or whatever number you're going to, then you can use that as well. So we're gonna take a deep inhale here. And We're gonna do that one again. So you can see I'm breathing into the belly. And again, we're gonna take a deep inhale here. And go. And again, return to your normal breath. You'll find that the body has a little more heat. This is a heat building breath. Your breath might be a little faster, your resting breath. And that's normal. So as you go through your solar plexus work, you do wanna revisit this breath as often as necessary. It's also a good breath to do if you need to wake up, if you are a little exhausted or if, you're, if you've had a sluggish morning or anything like that, you can find uses for this breath.